assalamu alaikum doctors today i am going to talk about the mental retardation which is also term as intellectual disability it is also term as intellectual disability now in mental retardation the intellectual functions the cognitive skills and learning skills and intelligence it decreases so in mental retardation the intellectual functions the cognitive skills meaning the reasoning ability of an individual the learning skills and intelligence they are usually affected now in mental retardation usually the patient has an iq level less than 70 here the iq level is less than 70 now if we talk about the normal iq so the normal iq in an individual that is from 91 to 110 the normal iq level is from 91 to 110 while the borderline iq level that is from 71 to 90 but in case of mental retardation the patient has an iq less than 70 now how actually we can calculate the the iq level of an individual so the iq level can be easily calculated by taking a ratio of mental age of in person on chronological age of in person and to 100 so this is how you can calculate the iq of an individual by taking mental age mental age can be described by psychological testing while the chronological age is the actual age of an in person so secondly the mental retardation it is more associated with the genetic diseases like in down syndrome also it also including the certain other syndrome in the form of fragile x syndrome hurler syndrome but the most common association of mental retardation that is with the down syndrome and it is also being reported that the mental retardation it is more common in boys as compared to the girls and the mental retardation it usually manifested before 18 year of an age so it is very important that the mental retardation it is usually manifested before 18 year of an age so students that's all about the certain outline of mental retardation now let's discussing the types of mental retardation how many types of mental retardation are there there are four types of mental retardation that is mild mental retardation moderate mental retardation severe mental retardation and very severe mental retardation which is also known as profound mental retardation now what are the types of mental retardation that are mild mental retardation that is moderate mental lit- mental retardation severe mental retardation and very severe mental retardation are profound mental retardation now the iq level is very important in each type of mental retardation like if we say the mild mental retardation here the iq level it is range from 51 to 70 while in moderate mental retardation here the iq level is range from 36 to 50 while in case of severe mental retardation here the iq level is from 21 to 35 while in very severe mental retardation it is less than 20 so the iq level in each type of mental retardation is important now in mild mental retardation here the patient is educable here the patient is educable it means that 
you can give the education to these patients up to sixth standard and the and this and mild mental retardation actually the patient can do self care so and this type the patient can do self care now coming toward the moderate mental retardation here there is the patient is trainable you can give the education up to second standard and and this type of mental retardation also the patient can do self care so it is very important that in first two of first two type of mental retardation patient can do self care now in severe mental retardation actually the patient is dependable patient is dependable and severe mental retardation patient is dependable and patient can't do uh self care so here the patient can't do self care now in very severe mental retardation here the lifetime support is important to patient lifetime support is important because this patient can uh it can harm uh, their self as well also they can harm to other individual as well so these are the four types of mental retardation now coming toward the causes of mental retardation so there are a lot of causes of mental retardation but the most common cause of mental retardation is genetic causes so what are the causes so what are the causes of mental retardation the most common cause of mental retardation is genetic causes so in genetic causes more commonly it is associated with down syndrome also it is associated with fragile x syndrome or it can it can be associated with the harler syndrome but the most common association of mental retardation is with down syndrome also certain infections play an important role in causing the mental retardation also hypoxia can lead to mental retardation and certain environmental agents can lead to mental retardation now what are the signs and symptoms of a patient here as i discussed earlier in case of mental retardation the intellectual functions are decreases the intellectual functions of an individual it decreases the cognitive skills affected cognitive skills mean the one who has ability of reasoning so the cognitive skills are affected also the learning skills are affected the intelligence is affected also there may be a features of <coughs> sorry there may be a feature of autism also the there is poor concentration and there is social withdrawal so what are the signs and symptoms there is intellectual functions disturbance there are cognitive skills learning skills and intelligence all are affected also there is autism there is poor concentration and usually patient isolate himself or herself from the surrounding now how you will diagnose the mental retardation actually the diagnosis it is all depending upon the stages of iq level that whether it is a mild mental retardation moderate mental retardation or severe or very severe mental retardation so it's all depending upon the iq level of an individual and what is the treatment option how you will able to treat the patient so for that the multidisciplinary t approach is important multi disciplinary approach is important here the multidisciplinary team is provided 
in order to give the certain therapy, like in order to give the uh, cognitive therapy, occupational therapy, and learning therapy, etc. And why it is so? In order to enhance the quality of an individual. So the multidisciplinary approach is important. For that, the multidisciplinary team is selected in order to provide certain therapies in the form of cognitive therapy, occupational therapy, learning therapy, in order to enhance the quality of in life. So students, that's all about the mental retardation. And thank you so much.